everyone! This is Roxas1359, welcoming you back to Let's Play Medieval. Last time, we went to the lake and found our way into the entrance to our next level, the Crystal Caves. We also managed to snag ourselves the Magic Bow, a weapon I'm most likely not going to use. Wait, let's head off to the Crystal Caves now. Oh, I love the levels. We're actually close to being done with the game. There is one level that I don't want to do. And unfortunately, the Witch Talisman isn't going to get any use anymore. All right, let's do the Magic Sword. And let's watch out. And we have demons here. So, let's attract their attention. You can use the Magic Bow with them, but Magic Sword works better, in my opinion. Because, look, they die in one hit. Sure, I pretty much dead. There we go. Now let's come over here, demon. Die. All right. The chalice is over there, so we're gonna have to come back this way. And I'm gonna walk ever so slowly across these so that I do not die. Hello there. The ancient town of Menomi was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Hmm. Rhinotaurs. Yep. And imps. Return of the imps. Bats. Uh, bat die. Alright, let's go over this way. Uh oh, that imp doesn't have anything. Watch out for the imps that don't have anything. Remember, they can take they can take your stuff. Which means they can take my magic sword, which means Roxas would get very, very, very pissed. Alright. I'm gonna go back over this way. Ah. Whoa. Ow. Those do a lot of damage. Alright. Ow. Bad. Stupid bats. Right? Ow. And that is a rhino tar. And it's dead. And they die easy. Die. Okay, how is it that the imps, when I free them from the crystal prison, they instantly set their swords on fire? It's weird. Right? thing right there. I'll save that. I saw some rhino tars up there. And they see me! Ha! Ah, ah. Dang. Got hit. Right. There we go. Not bad. And hit you and kill you. Uh, let's get supplies. Get some gold. Let's get on the fountain, shall we? We actually have a boss fight coming up. I don't want to use all of that. Right. So let's go up this way. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, put the earth rune right there. And Rhino Tower, how did you get free? Are any of this way? No, oh, there are some this way. Right. Kill the bat, kill the bat, kill the bat. That bat needs to... Bat. bat needs to die. Fine, be that way. See what I care. Alright. Now let's go. Oh. Oh. What's this? Let's go inside here. Ooh, treasure trove. And some weird things right there. Now I'm going to switch to my hammer. I'm going to check something again. right there. Okay, I needed to test that out to make this go efficiently. Anyway, let's read this. I know, I rarely read these things. The mean old dragon can be summoned by inserting two dragon gems into the eye sockets of the reef. 
The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much, as he is afraid of the roof collapsing over his head. Well, I would be too. So, now we finally get used for our two dragon gems. Nope, that's one. And there's two. Who dares to enter my lair and wake me from my slumber? Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Oh, oh great. I'm just going to give you a good hiding. And we are in a boss fight against a dragon. Simply put, just hit him over the head. He will go into different holes. Let's see where he's going. Mm, I can't get to right there because I'd have to. Okay, that one's from right there. I think it's random where he goes out from. Oop. And I didn't jump. Go, Roxas! Hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. You can go out and then you can go to the, um, what's it called, the water fall out there to put you out, but you don't need to. Bye bye, dragon. Ooh, armor that is impervious to heat. And I will ask this: How is it a skeleton? How can a skeleton breathe? Wait, dragon armor. Simply push the X button, and we breathe fire, and we can run around like that. So we can set enemies on fire, and kind of looks cool. Uh, it unequips your shield, so you could actually re-equip it and go along with this. It's not recommended, though. Like, it'll work. Die, Matt. But don't always, like, rely on it. Like, I'm gonna use it on... As you can see, you can't burn... Oh. 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 As you can see, it's not working that well, so I'm gonna go back to the good old magic sword. Nope. One hit. Die, Rhino Ta. I was gonna cut. I was going Scooby Doo right there. Rai, Rhino Ta. Rai. I don't know. My sister just loves Scooby Doo. She's always loved it. Right. Wait. Go down here, and we actually end up back at the beginning. Now, there is one more annoying little imp. That doesn't have anything with him, so I'll kill him with throwing daggers. Imps that don't have anything, remember, they can... See? He stole my throwing daggers. I'm gonna beat you to death with it. Oh, you know what? No, 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 I'm, I'm, yep, he ran away. Oh well, I lost throwing daggers. Doesn't really matter. Wait, he came back! Wait, no, 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 he's going after something else. Die! Just watch out for that, I don't think you can reclaim your items. I've actually had that happen to me once where he took my magic sword. That's how I know this level. He took my magic sword. And I couldn't get it back. I can handle losing throwing daggers. They're replaceable. Magic sword is not. And if there was a way that you can get it back, please tell me in the comments. As that's not the last time we're going to be dealing with imps that steal our stuff. Right. It was so slowly. Do, do, do. All right. So far, so good. And let's go. All right, I. 
Where's my shield? I gotta. I guess I'll just start using the gold shield. By use, I mean just have it out. Right. So let's go to the Hall of Heroes now. Successful episode is successful as he didn't get as I didn't get my magic sword stolen. I am content. All right. Hello. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Come see Stengard the Mighty. Come and see the last of the centaurs. Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would-be hero. Ha 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 ha. Jerk. We're doing pretty good. There's only 20 chalices in the game, and we have 15. So we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, this is new. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. <laughs> I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. Well, I accept. Yes. <laughs> Off you pop then, and keep your chin up. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. End. We obtain lightning. Now, lightning is interesting. As you can see, it has a 100% mark. However, lightning cannot be replaced. It's not going to get used, most likely. As the magic sword is infinite. And I don't need to worry about it replacing. I might use it against the final boss just to show it. But that's probably all I'll use it for. But anyway, with that, I'm going to do off right here. This has been Roxas1359. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.